ladies and gentlemen, good morning on this Friday day. By the way, uh, Steve, and, Steve and Susie just left and uh, well basically that's the only sole reason that I woke up. Well officially I'm not awakened but I got out of, bed, out of the bed. Um, it's because I want to turn the, the RV into a studio again and I have to shoot a few things for my other channel. By the way, did you wonder why, uh, why the honey? Uh, yesterday and today. Lately, uh, for the past few days, my uh, my throat's been a little itchy, not on the right spot. So uh, um, a spoon of honey, first thing when you wake up, it's really really good for your throat. It cleans it up. Whatever is in there the, th throughout the night, the honey brings it down, drags it with it, uh, lubricates it very well, and just a uh, a spoon of honey first thing in the morning is really good for your throat. Well, dang it, I was just about to get off my ass and start wiring lamps into the RV when my phone rings and I have to go help uh, a friend of Steve's, the, the guy that we put uh, the AC to, the RV over there. Uh, I'm still making coffee, by the way. Uh, because he took the screws and he cannot take them down, and I need to go on the roof and push the the, uh, the AC unit. Ah, dang it! I really hope that I can make it before uh, help him and come back before Steve and Susie come back, so I uh, I can put a few lamps over here and set up the cameras and microphones and record a few caps for the for the for the for the movies from the uh, for the other channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first off, I'm sweating into my car because it's 75 million degrees outside Right next to a storage unit. What are you? I just um, uh, get, uh, The guys from in the main, main, main just called me and I had to pull over uh, yeah, over here because you don't talk and drive at the same time Well, maybe vlog at the same time every once in a while, but all right, we came to the conclusion. It's not a bad idea I'm rambling <laughs> They came back with very good news. First off, whenever I go back, there is gonna be plenty of work for me and uh, even more opportunities to do stuff and upgrade on my house stuff. Remember Galen? Remember that house that I showed my movie? The movie that is, by the way, on the second channel that you can see right now. It's called Second Act. Well, that house has apparently a room that is available for rent and uh, it's gonna be pretty much the same as my uh, old crappy trailer. But it's gonna be a room into the house and that's great. That is great <laughs> Really all right right now. I have to go and uh, help the AC people and uh, Afterwards, oh, that's a message on my phone That that's my camera oh God. <laughs> Well, here's a question to you for you uh, after all those books, which one's your favorite story? Masada, Masada? Yeah. like oh, for all well, no, there was another one uh, about a slave, and I can't think of the name of that one. Yeah, back in the early days of slavery. Django? Mm -hmm. you, have you ever heard about the story about Django? It's a very old movie that they just redid. And uh, this slave was a house slave. Yeah. And he impregnated the wife of the owner. Uh -huh. And when she had a baby, the husband took the baby and threw it against the wall and literally, what the hell was the name of that book? That one is my next favorite. They, they boiled the slave, literally, alive at the end of the book. And that one in Masada... That's a nippy taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, uh, probably that's a little weird video because I had to use a different frame rate, but uh, let me use the spotlight. Oh, great, that, that's bright. Um, what I'm doing right now, and why the hell my hand is red, is because I'm shooting a little video that is again for a film fight. I, will, I, really, I came with an idea, and that's why I went and bought that toy gun and that lipstick so I can do it. And lately I was feeling, hey, well, it's only like a day or like two days to the end. I'm not gonna make it. But no, in the afternoon I thought, 
Screw it! I can film it for like a couple of hours and edit it overnight and I can have it done in the morning, what I'm talking about. So uh, what I did is I spent a few uh, minutes perfecting this, uh, the script for it because it's like two minute video and it's only a shot of my red hand and uh, these shadows on the wall over there. That's by the way, I uh, parked over here everything and I moved around stuff. God, what's that? Oh, that's a racetrack nearby. So uh, I perfected the script. I'm gonna right now uh, narrate it uh, today or tomorrow. I don't know, I'll see that. But um, I just shot it and it's wonderful. It's really good, I, I really like it. <sighs>